Yo, 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 this is your boy Bronze. You're listening to the Toy Thug Show. I got my co host with me, KP. Yo. Great Miles. Yes, sir. This is episode 58. 58. We're going to go uh, the Nipsey Hustle oh, yes. of episode. RIP, man. Man. So good one on that. Good did one. Y'all, that. Like, good um, were, were, were y'all up on Nipsey Hustle before he passed? I've heard like, of honestly, him, but yeah. not really like into his music that much. Yeah. But I mean, I knew he was like trying to do a lot for the community and stuff like that. Yeah. But. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, I, yeah, I heard. About, and I remember you. You were listening to him. His last album. I mean, like, like, yeah, like the last album was, yeah, it was dope, dude. Like, like the beginning of the year, I was like, man, this is a, you know, it's a good start. You know what I mean? Right. And then, um, you know, I really started following his moves after that Gary V interview that he did with right. with him, and he kind of like was talking about his his entrepreneurial tactics and like just him and just hearing him speak as a human being, dude. That dude was like different. Like it made me think, like, man, I need to pay attention to this guy. You know, after seeing that interview, you right. know what I mean? Like, and then, and just like hearing all the things he was doing for his community, and like as far as just with tech, bring technology to the hood. You know what I'm saying? Like he was like on the forefront of that. Oh, my bad. Well, but yeah, what did he do as far as technology wise? Like, like let's say his store, right? Or... Like he is his brand, the marathon. And I think that concept is dope because, like, you know. The, the whole concept of the marathon, like anything you do in life, you know, if you have passion for it, like you got to take it is a marathon. Love, it's a marathon, you know, you can't it's just look a, at it as a sprint. You know right. what I mean? That's so. Deep. So, yeah, it was a deep, deep meaning. And like, you know, he set up his store. It was like a, you know, it had like a Nike feel to it. But what was dope, he has his own app. And like when you when you put the uh, the app on or take a video of uh, open with the app open on like some of the product like a video will pop up like, you know, exclusive to that, that con to that, wow. to that shirt, you know, or to That's that crazy, or to that, that thing in the store. So his, 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 uh, he had like all these augmented reality things in the store. That's dope. It's dope, dude. Like that, when I saw that video that he, you know, he was explaining it and, uh, he did also some like co-working spaces in the hood for like, you know, young entrepreneurs, you know, to, uh, to, you know, to have like a office per se and like to work together. You know what I mean? And like, you know, you never hear about these things like going on in the hood, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, you know, a lot of yeah. despair, like liquor stores, you know, yeah, it's like, the so he's trying to change, yeah, whatever. so he's trying to change, you know, that, that perception that, you know, for his community. So that's pretty, uh, you know, I, I, I was like feeling that I was like, man, that's, that's deep, you know? Yeah. So it just sucks that like, you know, he didn't really accomplish what he, you know, set out to do, you know? Yeah. But, I mean, at least he did what he did. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, R.I.P. to Nipsey. All right, so check us out at ToyThugShow.com. Um, we're on iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play, all that. Uh, today we're going to be going over Comic Palooza. Seems like the last three episodes. <laughs> Comic Palooza, movies, Endgame, tickets, Joker, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Television, Cowboy Bebop, I'm excited for that. Toy News, um, we'll be going over over that in a minute so let's go over with the pickups all right so uh i got the end game marvel legends here i've got uh there was a, a target two pack that had hawkeye and black widow but it came with alternate heads but so basically i bought two of those two packs and put together the nebula nice and the ant-man <clears throat> now the ant-man head sculpt that i have on here i got it from another two pack actually because that's that's the human head or whatever with and i also got uh no it was like a I forgot it was like the the Marvel Studios first ten two pack from like last year. Okay, they had like because you can get like a different head sculpt with the wave that came out with the uh, I forgot what wave it was, but there's there's an Ant Man in another wave, but he's like he like he's he has like a smirk on his face. Okay, I didn't really care for that one, so I got this is more of like a normal expression face, I guess. So I got that one instead. Nice. And then I got the Captain America again. I got the head sculpt off another pack because it just came with like the helmeted head. Which I didn't really care for. I didn't like how that looked. So I got a different head sculpt on there. So that's pretty much the Quantum Realm suits. I got the basic rocket as well. Yeah, yes. Now, yeah, somebody uh, was on our live earlier asking about that. What, what did you get rocket again? It came with like a, a, a pack of Thor and rocket. But the Thor looks so bad. That I didn't want to include him in this little set I have going here. Now I'm probably going to buy a couple more Captain Americas just for the suit. So I could put different heads on there. But uh, yeah, this is kind of cool because it came out last Sunday, March 31st. 
So most toys aren't street dated. So you just kind of have to go and hope that they have it out. But at least when you know it's a street date, you can kind of go on that day and they'll be out. So that was kind of a cool thing. Kind of like a Force Friday. Like, oh, you know, okay. it'll be out on that day. So that was kind of a cool thing. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so. Where did you get these? Uh, some of these are from Target. It's a, it's a Target exclusive two pack. And then I just got uh, the Captain America from uh, Amazon. So nice. And the the rocket I got from Target. So. Okay. So, so trying nice. try to put together the Quantum Realm crew, crew, so right. to speak. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm missing Iron Man and Thor, but this is pretty good for right now. Yeah, I like that. But he's gonna, he's gonna die before they get to that part. <laughs> Who Thor? No, Iron Man. Oh, Iron Man. No, okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, he might die in space. You don't know. <laughs> yeah, right? exactly. So I mean, like the, the heads, like w- all of them do all the heads. Like they all swap. Like that from no, they don't. Ones. Actually, okay. like these heads, I had to like put them in boiling water first and then oh, stick word? them on. Yeah, because they wouldn't fit otherwise. But now. The heads that come in the pack, uh-huh. you can just pop those off and switch them out automatic because obviously you'd have to do that. But if you try to put like a different from like, an, like another pack or another figure yeah. on these heads, you probably have to boil it in water first. So right. but, I mean, it'll pop right on. You won't mess up the face. And no, no. I mean, I, I put these in boiling water and they came out fine. So yeah, I mean, I don't. Want, I wouldn't want to heat it up too much. It might yeah. melt. But I mean, <laughs> you know what? I just thought of just random. Remember that scene in RoboCop where that guy, the acid falls on him and he was yeah. just all like, Bleh. Right. I don't know why I was thinking that when he was yeah, <laughs> when he talking about boiling the heads. Yeah. No, that pretty much that's what the Thor's skull head skull is really? like. Yeah, it's so is bad. Is that bad? I mean, on that, on that, the that, basic but... pack, it's, it's really bad. I mean, it looks really um, terrible. Yeah. I mean, you know, it, it's, it, he doesn't look melted. <laughs> it doesn't look like, <laughs> just, like, to me, it's like, I mean, these, well these kind of look like the like, actors. You yeah, know what no, I'm saying? These, but, are, these are legit, but dude. The, the yeah. basic Thor looks nothing yeah, like him. I picked I mean, it up yesterday. It looks dude. really bad. I mean, I'm like, dude. But I mean, this is why. For the rocket, I mean, it looks like rocket, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So, yeah. You can't really miss on, I mean, because I mean, it's, it's an animal. It's a raccoon, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So you can't really. can't mess that up too bad. But Hawkeye, I think, is the best one. Looks, yeah, the Hawkeye right. looks I dope, man. See, I can't wait to see Hawkeye. I hope he shines in this next movie. Yeah, yeah. Know, with a half sleeve. Yeah. So let's continue on with with the toys. Uh, just announced a couple days ago the Foot Locker. There's a Foot Locker exclusive bronze, not bronze me, but a br- bronze <laughs> yeah. as in statue. Yeah, statue <laughs> Jordan. A Michael, another one, man. This I one mean, looks pretty dope. It looks pretty too. dope, but I mean, Foot Locker exclusive. I'm not looking forward to that. So. Oh, you think they're I didn't releasing? Think, yeah, no. You think you didn't? You didn't care for it? Not enough for the. I don't know, it looked like if it was Clyde the Glide Drexler, you probably all it. Not yeah. Clyde. Not Clyde. Okay. But it was, it was but basically no a re-release thing. of the the other one, but just, they made it bronze, right? Yeah. yeah. Man, it's typical Funko. I mean, they'll yeah. re-release the sculpt, but like yeah. do like a little variant, a little chrome it out, or in right. this case, they bronze yeah. it out. So yeah, I guess to to match the like you said the the, the statue, statue outside yeah. United Center. I mean, right. it's exactly that. Yeah. So. It, it's weird because I am getting sick of all the chrome. Mm-hmm. And especially like these Marvel ones, it's like ugh, this is so lame now. But then uh, this one comes, I'm like, oh yeah, what? This one? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not chrome; it's a, it's a different variant. They right. bronze it out, yeah. so I mean, it's, it's a different take on it, I guess. Yes. So. You know what they should do would be dope. If, like they have like the shorts, like the cloth shorts on them, <laughs> or Dude, they have like leather level. shoes, like you know Man, what I mean, yeah. like one of three. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I made three of them, <laughs> Man. But oh, that, yeah, would be, that'd be, that would be that would be there dope, you go, Funko Sully. If you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> Some customizer will probably do it one day. It just you know, yeah, just yeah. be different. Always, yeah. Um, and then I remember you posted this in the chat. Mm-hmm. Someone selling this this AT and T exclusive. Nah, it's, it's, oh, okay. It's supposed to the HBO one. Okay, that's HBO. But it's kind of it's the same. It's the but, same okay. difference. And you got the HBO. one. I got one, the HBO right? one. Yeah, I got it. Dang. Okay, it's the exact same one as this. No, nah, the HBO one. one. He's sitting on the throne. Okay, okay, okay. AT and T is just standing by himself. So. Right. What's the resale value right now on that? Did you see? Uh, the HBO is like two hundred bucks. Two hundred bucks. One one fifty to two hundred. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. Now, is that the going rate or is it just that one the, post? They're selling for that much. That's average. About and you fi- got that one. I got it. Yeah. And then the, you said, "Oh, it's not that much." But it's, I didn't. I thought it'd be like a hundred bucks, but it's, it's like oh, one fifty okay. two hundred now. So it's, it's kind of jumped up. Well, I how guess much did you get it for? Like Thirty bucks, dude. Man, that's crazy. <laughs> that's I didn't even know that came out, dude. <laughs> I've, I've been hearing about it, like you know, through, through the groups. Like they okay, were yeah. Like, see, I need to this. have. I try to save my battery on my phone because before I used to have like uh, Disfunko. Shout out to him. Yeah, I got his. Twi- I got him on alert notification. Yeah, yeah. But you know, like he, you need he, to put Gray Miles on alert, dude. I, on your yeah. alert. <laughs> 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 he, if he if he would like, retweet you really want it or post it. 
Yeah, if you really but, want um, it, you got to get Green Miles, you know. Yeah, get, get, get him to text you before he gets on. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm about to get on. Yeah, so. He didn't tell us about this one. <laughs> yeah, I've been hearing about the groups, and I was wondering, I was like, wonder if any of y'all got this. And then, yeah. of course. It's like after the fact, yeah. <laughs> Green Miles be winning. It sucks because you got to be on it, dude. Because yeah. sometimes I'll be, like, really on it, like, one week, but then, like, the next week, uh, I'll chill, like, mm-hmm. like looking up on, on news because you know, yeah. something else is like you know got me preoccupied but then like i'll go back to it again but yeah it is one of those ones that like i missed out but when is this at&t exclusive um night king uh april 26th is that's oh. that's the date that they're giving out right now it might change but supposedly it'll be available on att.com yeah. and att stores because yeah. they're selling pops now on the yeah. att stores so it's a big weekend right dude, there. dude that weekend is stupid bananas <laughs> there's a million things going on over yeah. there dude yeah, that whole vibe, um, where it was like the the play NBA playoffs, oh, yeah. NFL draft starts on that Thursday. Then you know you got End Game right that Endgame. same weekend. Yes, we're doing a show that we're weekend. Doing a show, um, yeah, a little trade it, show, whatever. Comic Con. There's type a show. church uh, Small. spring festival. I want to go. Cause, oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> the yeah. last time they had a like a brisket like grill. Oh, really? Like it was big things. Yeah. I didn't get to go. So <laughs> I wanna, those are like my top things I want to do. Um, yeah, I wanna, um, that weekend, stupid bananas. Sp- speaking of barbecue, I want to try Blood Brothers barbecue. Have y'all tried that yet? No. It won uh, best uh, at uh, Tasters, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Where, yeah where is this at? This is uh, down south, man. It's Shout uh, out to, uh, run by Asian dudes, ain't yeah, it? Yeah, Blood yeah, Brothers yeah. barbecue. I know the guy Terry. He's one of the owners. Um, uh, they're not in Houston. No, they are in Houston. Yeah, oh, okay. they're one of the best barbecue spots in Houston. Hey, where's right where's now. it at? Uh, one that Southside. Tastemakers. That's a- what's a- called. A- tastemakers. Yeah, tastemakers. Tastemakers. Tastemakers like trade show or whatever they yeah. have all the food yeah. there yeah they want like best barbecue i think one of them like listens to the show he follows the page or something oh shit. Uh, oh really yeah kui yeah wow hey, kui, shout out to you man yeah yeah, yeah for sure uh, congratulations what's your, what's your secret man is it a little bit of a gram of soy sauce <laughs> yeah. no, you, no you can't go he's wrong a meat it. connoisseur man just like seeing his content he posts on uh, uh he, posts yeah. his, he posts on facebook yes man that's like you got some wagyu yeah, like wow, he's like, got oh, that wagyu. He right. goes out like <laughs> it's like cream drop. That he'll, he'll post that like I'm on R and D right now. He'll have like this awesome piece of like meat from some like obscure like farm. Okay, <laughs> like, I, like, oh snap, man. this looks good. Damn, that's crazy. I need to check that yeah, out. We should all make a trip down there, man. Just to, hell yeah. See what's up. Yeah, but they sell out early. I hear like it's like oh man, I hate those. Yeah, <laughs> like killings and shit. Yeah, yeah. like killings. They'll start, they'll sell out at a certain point. Yeah, damn. All right, um, there's this one article I forgot, um to where i saw that the the, the name is um blogger but there, she put in an article about um how the, in japanese the, the toy collecting game is, is kind of crazy over there right now mm-hmm. and there's a, like bandai did something unprecedented um where they do a, they did a re-release on a certain toy uh evangelion did you hear about that Grand Miles? evangelion no, i heard of that i name. think i might have heard like, of that it but... got sold out and then because the Chinese, there's a bunch of Chinese uh, flippers going to Japan and, um, you know, just scooping up. Yeah, scooping them up. So Bandai, um, for the first time, they like, did a re release because it was just a public outcry of uh, this, this particular re- release. But so, you know what is crazy about in the, the what the Chinese, uh, Ch- Chinese resellers do? They have an advantage because right now, I guess there's like a deal with, with the U.S. when they ship out stuff, you know, from mm-hmm. China to, to the U.S., mm-hmm. um, the shipping is pretty much just like a, like a domestic price rate. Yeah. The e-packet. Yeah, the e-packet. Mm-hmm. So that's what's going on. So like that, they're flooding the market like eBay. Mm-hmm. And since like they're not um, Japanese citizens, they, they don't have to pay taxes on, on those toys. Yeah. And, and the taxes are super high over there. Yeah. So they, it's like so a wait, They went win. from China to Japan? Yeah. And they'll, they'll roll deep, like into these stores. I mean, like it, 30, 50. You better because that's not a cheap plane ticket. You know what I'm saying? I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, you have to fly over there. Right. Well, I don't know, like, if they had people already, already over there. there okay. And then they'll just, but yeah. And it's weird, like, how their ordering system is at um, in Japan. It's like a, you, you go on one line to, um, pick what you want uh-huh. and then there's like someone that works there will have a piece of paper and then they'll go over there and put an account and give you a receipt yeah to you and then you'll go to another alliance to pay for it that's, that's like how like the, the kendrick lamar pop-up shop was oh really yeah you went to the line 
You said what you wanted. They put it on a paper, and then you went to another line, paid for it, and you <laughs> got it. Dude. Why, 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 why do they do that? It's just think? their thing. That's their mm-hmm. process over there. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, sometimes it'll get mad hectic. Like, it's a cultural thing. Like, the Chinese beef sellers are like, you know, mm-hmm. like over here, we just got one line. Yeah. And they're just like, why am I here in two lines? Yeah. And okay. I got you. It's just crazy. And so, like, what they did, you know, like how like Funko we try, or these other companies try to fight the bots. Uh-huh. You know, Bandai just did a re-release. Like they never ever done that before on a toy. Once it's sold out, they'll never make it again. Yeah, it's crazy. So, so what's the the going rate for that re-release? You think? Oh shoot, I don't know. I, I think it was like so. Did, 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 did it work? Did it? Uh, well, did the flippers get those two or what? Like that? Uh, the article didn't really go over that, but on the second release though, it does. It did cost a little bit more than the original. Really? Yeah. So, so probably because all the hype. Yeah, that, you know, maybe, but yeah, that's like yeah, this, that's, this, it's, it's a thing over there. It's crazy. This this Night King pop, you know, like I think it's the price right now is probably just because of all the hype. You know, it'll probably drop yeah. down. You know, I'm what? sure once the show <laughs> yeah. starts out, dude, it's gonna go up even more. I mean, yeah, yeah, then it'll probably come back down after. Right, but see, I'm thinking like, why him? They, there's other characters. You would think Arya would be going up, and Jon Snow, and all these. Yeah, other it's comments. weird how like certain pops go up and certain. Well, like let's for instance. uh the two pops that we got um, at the New York Toy Fair a couple years ago. Yeah. The Ultraman, the Ultraman yeah. was what, you know. Yeah, you think it was that, limited. Yeah, it was limited. You think that one would go up. But the other one is the one that, like, I recently, it's almost oh, yeah. 500 bucks. Oh, yeah, the, um, the Kane, yeah. Kangon. K- oh, yeah. Kind of, whatever that. Uh, Cunnilingus. No, <laughs> Cunnilingus. <laughs> I'm sorry. Cunnilingus. <laughs> what do you think That's about what it? That's what you're trying to say. <laughs> no. <laughs> Is that what you type in on Pornhub? <laughs> <laughs> Don't edit. You're that. finding it all out, bro. Oh my god, it's all out there now, bro. <laughs> Speaking of Ultraman, did you see the um, the Godzilla trailer? No. Oh man, there's another one. Yeah. Well, the one that I saw, I don't know if it's old, but they show what's her name, Millie Bobby Thornton, Millie Bobby what? Brown. Brown. Okay. Um. Yeah, dude, it looks it looks pretty dope. Are they getting ready to fight? That's what I want to see. I want to see them fight all those monsters, bro. Yeah. I did see uh, Ultraman on Netflix now. Like Dude, I just a, saw that this morning. Yeah. I saw it in the list. So did you watch it? No, I didn't watch I saw it. I just oh, also it's out already? Yeah. Yeah. I can't, wow. yeah, that's quick. I can't pry Joanne and um, Joanne's mom off <laughs> to, from watching Filipino movies on there <laughs> long enough for me to watch anything. <laughs> they got so much content, dude. <laughs> it's crazy. Man. It's like so they, they have like international... Yeah. I mean, they've been having it, but now I guess it's like super huge, the catalog now. Yeah, I think so now. So, it's, they're, they're probably just going to get bigger, you know? Yeah. Man, that's crazy. Okay, speaking on to, on Netflix, the live action Cowboy Bebop has its cast. John Cho. John Cho, man. Yeah. Wow. Otherwise good, known as uh, Harold. Harold, Harold and Kumar. <laughs> <laughs> that's on my all-time uh, smokers comedy list, too, man. Harold and Kumar, the first one. Yeah, the first one was good, yeah, man. The first one one He's also like, in Star Trek and Star other Trek, movies, yeah. but I mean, that's... That's big, dude. That was good. I, mean, I, I like that guy. So yeah, like, yeah he's I, cool. It's gonna be yeah. Spike Spiegel. I Man, yeah. I, I wasn't that excited for live action Bebop because you know most anime live action is pretty trash. But I mean, the cast looks pretty good. Right, you know, right. what I'm saying they have like the actual Bebop creator is gonna be a consultant on the show. Oh, nice. That's dope. So I mean, at least that gives me hope that it might be pretty good. You know, what I'm saying. So. Hey, it, it sounds like you about to join Netflix, though. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you know what? <laughs> For this, I might have to, bro. I might have Just to pay do for it. that one month to see what's up. <laughs> you, you know, you're never gonna turn it off. I, I thought like um, AT and T, if you had the Uverse or one of those companies, if if you sign up to them, um, you get, you get it for Netflix. Free. Yeah, yeah. T Mobile was doing. Something it was like T Mobile. Okay. Yeah. 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 Kermaz, you got T Mobile. AT and T. AT and T. Darn it! AT&T, He's gonna be like, something. where was this all my life? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once you get on, <laughs> they got so much content. That's crazy. In there. Anything else you guys been watch or you know watching? Any you know? Um, I mean, I watch generally not like, just Netflix. Actually, Walking Dead got really, really good. Oh snap! Really it got really good. Really, Damn. yeah. But I mean, at this point, if you stop watching it, it's not we worth catching lost. up. So I can't recommend that you catch up to two years to get to that point. But if you did watch it for two years. It paid off because it got really, really good. Damn. Well, I mean, we can always go back. Again, I wouldn't recommend it because those two years were pretty trash. <laughs> <laughs> but if you did, if you did grind it out, 
it paid off for it, you because it got real good. It's like okay. watching those old animes, like y'all you watch. You said where there's like a like a, a lot long, of filler, oh, yeah, filler, filler episodes yeah. where it's just like BS, right? So it's, it's I like, guess you could look at it that way. I guess because I mean, yeah, that's one way to look at it. But it's two years of filler, more or less. So Man. yeah. But it got real good this, probably, at the end of this year. So that's probably something out there. Like what's like what they in out, you know, like, OK, New real don't watch these fillers. Someone's probably going to write some a, a blog about. Well, like, I mean, skip this episode. Well, what was the last episode you watched? The Negan thing? Yeah, I guess you could pretty much skip to this season and just watch this year. And that'd be oh, fine. Okay. Because I mean, okay. nothing has really happened. So other right. other than him being in jail now, they just know that. Right. And you're pretty much caught up. So okay. Rick's still there, right? Rick's now nah, Rick's out. Okay. Where's he now? He's dead. Now he's like mm-hmm. on some helicopter going to some other oh, yeah, compound right. or whatever. Atlanta. So Okay. So he 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 possibly could be back. It's he so might hard. come back, but you probably don't I mean he's probably gonna do his movies and be gone after that. But I mean the possibility <laughs> of him coming back is there. But I mean he's not he's not he's not dead, so yeah, I guess back. he could come back, but he'll be yeah. back with his uh, original English. They're accent. leaving it they're leaving it open for him, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, so, there's a, there's that possibility that he might okay. come back. So. All right, so that's my segue for movies. Um, we just heard about Idris Elba not being dead shot. Oh wow! Because we talked about him, and he he was going to be dead shot, but right. now there's a new report that said that he didn't want to disrespect Will Smith. Right, or not just him? Maybe the writers or whatever. Well, they, they didn't want to disrespect Will, so yeah. that's <laughs> make a new yeah. character. So. They'll make a new character, or he'll play a different character. Okay. Which, hence, they're leaving that role open for, for Will Smith with, to come if, back. If he decides to come oh, back. Word. Because what they're saying, like, mm-hmm. the reason why he wasn't able to um, uh, be Deadshot this go around is because of scheduling conflict, mm-hmm. not not creative differences. Yeah. So, hey, that's, you know, that's cool. I mean, you know, Will's a giant in the industry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, so that's he, how much clout he, he has. You can't piss off that guy, you know what I'm saying? That's how much clout so. he got in the, in Unless the industry. Unless you want to get blacklisted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think he would do that, but. So that that's um that's cool. So now, wh- who would he play? They haven't really said who it might be. All I know is it's not going to be Deadshot. Yeah, so. that's to me. I was a little bit disappointed. Yeah, because I thought that was a pretty yeah. good idea to have him be, but they don't want to, you know, step on toes. So. Right. So but, this, this is going to be a reboot, right, of Suicide Squad? Well, or, I mean, they're bringing back so many of the old characters. I mean, Harley Quinn will be back. Mm-hmm. Uh, that Captain Boomerang guy, he'll be back. Oh, okay. So, that's I mean, true. that's at least two of the squad that's going to be there. So, uh, I'm not sure it's going to be like a straight reboot, mm-hmm. more like kind of, I guess, of a soft reboot where I, it won't be like a direct sequel, but it'll be like, I guess, of enough of a change that it's not like, you know, a direct sequel, but yeah. I guess a soft reboot. Right. That's what they're going with, I guess. Okay. Um, Yeah. Which, okay. Like with, um, what's his name? War Machine, you know, is Don Cheadle. But before Don Cheadle, it was. uh. The other guy, oh, guy. Uh, Terrence, uh, Howard. Terrence Howard. Terrence Howard. Terrence yeah. Howard. Yeah, there you go. Honestly, I like Terrence Howard. Yeah, I like Terrence Howard too. And I was disappointed when. Well, he yeah. wanted he wanted more money, yeah. so I was like, "Well, got to go, bro." The thing it's is, like football. When like, he did that, I mean, Iron Man was the first Iron Man, so he, no way he could have known that it turns like this billion dollar thing. But like now, every movie makes at least a billion dollars. Like, bro, you just would have waited it out, man. You would have got your money. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But. He would. I mean, he's doing okay for himself. Yeah. I'm sure he's not, you know, hurting for it. But it's like, but you know, he's like, yeah, man, I'm missing the biggest been, franchise. I was yeah. being too greedy. Could have been War Machine. Uh-huh. Yeah, because I think he is a better War Machine. Yeah, I, I like. Him. I mean, Don Cheadle's good too. I guess. I mean, because yeah, he's an outstanding actor. But yeah. I just felt like if he had if same I had to thing with Edward two. Norton. He was Bruce Banner in that Hulk movie. Right. He wanted more money. And like, nope. Oh, okay, so then they got Mark Ruffalo instead. So yeah. it's like. We just would have waited it out. Yeah, you would have got your money. But he's a better actor. But I think Ruffalo. He's a good Bruce Banner. I, I actually yeah. read something or watched the video on that situation where where Edward Norton was actually like a he was re- really hard to deal with. Like a, oh, as okay. a, I did hear that too. Yeah, yeah, he was like super hard to deal with, and they just kind of okay. wanted to wipe their hands and yeah, just, you know. Okay, well that's cool too. Then yeah. I mean, that's they, on his bad too. Yeah. And Ruffalo is pretty good, you know what I'm saying? So uh, not too mad bad yeah. casting. So why have we haven't had a Hulk movie yet? Contract because he's mm-hmm. it's property of Universal, so Sony, like, that's right? why like you can't have him in, like a movie by himself. And you can okay. have a Ragnarok where he's like a like a buddy pair. Yeah, and he can be in the Avengers movies, but he can't have a movie by himself because yeah. of the Universal contract. Kind of like Sony um, with Spider Man. That sucks. Dude. Yeah, they haven't let it go yet. Okay, so. because I'm confused because I thought like the Hulk, the Edward Norton movie one. Was is part of the MCU? Uh, it's like it was a, un- a Universal picture 
which was part of the MCU at that time, I guess. Okay, that time. But I mean, like because of that contract, he can't be in a movie by himself. Okay, that's mad. Yeah. yeah, that's uh, uh, yeah. I want to okay. see um him in uh what do you call it? Get it on. <laughs> <laughs> What's your yeah, name? Who? It's just Scarlett Johansson. Widow. Oh yeah, Widow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so okay, Th- this moves on to with other um people in MCU. The Eternals are coming. Angelina hey. Jolie is going to be in the movie. Yes. Where? That's kind of big, that's dude. Strong. I mean, that's, that's a big strong. actress yeah. right there. I heard that Angelina Cersei. Jolie was going to the MCU, but I didn't know what she was going to... Yeah, yeah Eternal. be Eternal. Right. Wow. And honestly, I, I really didn't know... I know who I did who they are, to be honest. I mean, I've, I think I've seen them in comic books, but yeah. I don't really know who they right. are. Right. I mean, I, it was too cosmic. It was part of that... The yeah, it's, it's that cosmic stuff. I don't really... The, the watcher type stuff. Okay. Yeah. I went down for the cosmic joints, but I mean... Yeah. I remember the logo. <laughs> I had the logo in my head. Right. So basically, the Eternals, from what I've read, is they're like the super power human. You know, they're not human, but they're like super power beings. Uh-huh. And guess who? Who is an internal? Thanos. Thanos. Okay. But he's a a, a deep. His dad was a deviant. Yeah. And I guess like the bad guy, bad version of Eternals. Yeah, so he is an eternal. Well, and, Thanos uh, not dying in the end games. Are you saying? No, well, they're hard Spoiler. to kill. <laughs> Spoiler alert. So, it's, man, I guess they're going that route. You know, they're going to sh- introduce... I mean, their name you know, is Eternals, time. you know what I'm yeah. saying? So, you can't kill right. them, you know? So, it's going to get a little bit more cosmic in the MCU. I mean, this is going to be the next phase. What, phase five we're, we're getting phase into? Phase four. Phase four. Yeah, so that's that's interesting. How many phases do you think they're going to have? I don't know. It's, it makes that, me think, like, when's the, the X-verse? When is that coming? I mean, they five, have... Six years? They have to that's write those thinking. movies now, so, yeah, I mean... That's going to be... Perfect. Probably not to at least... 21, 22. Right. Probably 22, because they have to, like, write the movie. They have to cast the movie, you know what I'm saying? So it's going to be a long time before we see it. Yeah. I mean, they might do a Deadpool before an X-Men, because they already have that in place. But, I mean, it, you have to have all new X-Men, because they said they're going to recast everybody, so. Right. I mean, but Deadpool's already kind of in place, so they might do a Deadpool movie in between, but the actual X-Men might be a minute before we see that. Right. Yeah, because they're going to have to incorporate, like, all the things that happened in the MCU beforehand. Yeah, it's going to be take a lot of writing, you know what I mean? Like, That's true. You know. And it's now all of a sudden they're in mutants, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. we didn't talk about mutants at all for years. Mm-hmm. Now we have them. So it's like, where do they come from? You know and a lot of people are, are speculating, or well, this is like their wishful thinking. They're going to hit something at the end of Endgame. Of mutants? You know, like one of those, you know, the extra c- credits, like... Apocalypse uh, or something. Oh, some g- ex-gene. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, shoot. I'm thinking of mutants. Yeah. You know, yeah. You're um, a mutant. A man. Dun, yeah. Dun, dun. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so end game tickets, man. This is stupid. This is, this is crazy, stupid. dude. It is crazy. I mean, I've never seen it where, like, almost every <laughs> good good time opening weekend is gone. Right. Like, if you want to go, like, at 7 to 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, you're yeah. out of luck. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I've like, heard of it that week, but not that month. <laughs> like, yeah. Like a month before. This Crazy. is going to break records. I've seen some uh, resale tickets. Yeah. <laughs> resale, I, what? For like hundreds of dollars. I mean, because like, Ooh, cause like if you try to go to an IMAX screening, that's a very limited amount of space already. I mean, it's one thing a regular theater, they have tons of those. But if you want to see it at the IMAX, that's a very small amount of people that can actually go. If you want to go so on that Thursday, I mean, at this point, you have to ante up or just not go. You know what I'm saying? But that's why. That's crazy. I, saw some, I don't know if they were for real, but I saw some uh, eBay. Um, I saw some in the thousands of dollars. Yeah. In the thousands. Oh, on, probably man. not yeah. bid on those, but <laughs> I can see them going for at least a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. Two of that is ridiculous. Really, man. Like Star Wars has never been on this level. No. I don't think any movie. Titanic. No. Heck no. Mean? Terminator 2. Um, I, I understand wanting to see Jurassic? it that Thursday because you don't want to see the spoilers. I understand that, but yeah. at this point, dude, just don't go on social media for like a day or two. Yeah. The sites a- crash, dude. Cinemark's oh, website really? crashed. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. They were all the, all the ticket little online joints were crashing that that whatever that morning. Yeah, man, that's crazy. I mean, dude, is it going down for real? <laughs> it's going, it, I'm gonna have to be cosplay for this. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? This is uh, mad intense. Uh, that sucks I out. mean, I can't remember the hype being like this for any movie right. at, before at all. Not even Star Wars. Not even Star Wars. Yeah. And that's what started it all, this whole And this cinema. is going to make, I think it's already on track to make $250 million the first weekend. $250 million. God, That's crazy. The first weekend, I mean, that is crazy, dude. 
the first weekend. And okay, we're, that, we're, that's just domestic. I mean, right. you're talking about international, it, yeah. might, it might make a billion the first weekend. Right, yeah. international is going to be showing first, right? They always do. Do they? I wonder who it is. I didn't know that. Yeah. Do they? I think the first couple movies they did open over there first. Mm-hmm. I wonder why. Why them first? Why not here, the OG homegrown? <laughs> because I think they it's Thursday there first. Okay. <laughs> I think that, that's the big bigger that's reason. That's true. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Yeah, because I started noticing Just that. Stay off Instagram for those couple days, You're everybody, right. and you'll be fine. That's what yeah. I, that's the next hard. 48 hours will be bananas, dude. For real. The first 48 hours? Yeah, because. We got yeah, our tickets for yeah. Saturday, so. I don't know. I'm going to try to. Just got to stay off social media for that long. I'm trying. Yeah. I'm gonna try to go on Thursday. To be honest yeah. with you, so. yeah, I'm gonna That's, try to go okay. Thursday too. <laughs> like resale by myself. Let's go Thursday. Yeah. Oh man, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the last yeah, year weren't we supposed to go watch it together? And then I watched. And you want you watch watched it before it us, the kids? <laughs> yeah, I watched it with Joanne or something. Uh, I have a feeling you're gonna find a way. You're gonna be like. Like uh, dressed uh, up as one of the ushers. Yeah, just <laughs> walk through. Just like sit on the side. Around, yeah. Like, oh, snap. Like, oh, can you get my food? <laughs> it's like, no, nah, I'm good. Nah, man, I'm good, man. <laughs> I'm off right now. I'm just trying to catch you quick. <laughs> and so my complaints, like, it didn't even work here. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I'm going to find a way. Man, I'm giving out ideas, man. All right, um, events, Comic Palooza. Yeah, yeah. Coming through in the clutch, man. Again. I mean, we were we Sick were bagging again. on them pretty hard. Right, we always do, right? And the right. thing is, never again because I mean, they came through last year with Tom Holland, and this year they came through with Amelia Clark, man, Mother of Dragons, her very <laughs> first non San Diego con. I mean, that is big, That's dude. That is huge. You know what? I, I think there's all, they're going to they're gonna be an, there's going to be another surprise. That's what I was telling. Well, they added a thinking. Flash this week, Grant Gustin. So that's yeah. that's pretty big too. I mean, yeah, on a TV on yeah, TV show. Space. I mean, that's yeah. I mean, that's two yeah. pretty big heavy hitters on one show. I mean, that's pretty big. I mean, that's good. Yeah. At one point, their lineup was super lacking. Well, they made up for that pretty big time. So yeah. now it's like one of the better ones out there. So okay, yeah. just with two signings. So I'm thinking somebody from MCU. Oh, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, they're not done. I mean, they could do yeah. it. I mean, because right. last year they announced Tom Holland like right after the movie, didn't they? Like, I'm not but sure. Not, I'm not sure, but it, it wasn't. It was pretty late in the game when they announced it. Yeah, so. yeah. Because I remember we, we like remember we were debating on whether to to do right. the uh, come in as a vendor, yeah. and when we saw Tom, I was like, oh shit, we gotta go. <laughs> like, there's gonna be a mad people up there, and, it, Dude, and it was, there was man, it was crazy. And this one is gonna be, I think, is gonna be an up. I think it's gonna be even bigger because I mean, it's her first. Like non right. San Diego con, I mean right. that that's huge. Those prices, oh my god, yeah, two hundred bucks, bro. The auto and the, the photo, photo mm-hmm. is bank. But guess what? It's damn sold out the first day. The autograph sold out hours. like in a couple of hours. Really? Yeah. Supreme oh. drop, man. <laughs> oh, I mean, it took maybe two hours for the whole thing to sell out. So, I mean, that, that's crazy, dude. Like between two to six hundred dollars, people are just dropping. Yeah, yeah. For, because I mean, I guess they want to spend that dough. Yeah, but there's no one yeah. worth buying but they, as soon as they put her out there got snatched up yeah. man Dude, one, one of my boys i uh, saw him playing ball and i he, i've seen him at the show like the last couple of years He's like you going to show you this year like yeah i'm going like I, like uh him and his co-workers got you know money together to uh do the autograph for <laughs> so they're all gonna go and take pictures with, uh, pictures with amelia uh, or amelia clark her? clark uh together you know, so you can have up to yeah. four people, so you gotta they split that two hundred bucks. I mean, yeah, and you know what's crazy? Game of Thrones is still going on. It's not like after the series, right? I mean, it'll still be going on when she's there. So and this is probably the height where, uh, where she's gonna be showing that weekend. What, what if she Bananas. dies right before? <laughs> yeah, bro, that would be crazy, dude. If she, if she dies like that week before <laughs> that, you are gonna see people a bunch of lines like with flowers <laughs> oh, <laughs> for real. Game. Like a vigil, like, I'm not dead. <laughs> I'm not dead for real. <laughs> right? That, yeah, that would be crazy. That weekend. Be- yeah. Okay, so she's is she also scheduled for Sunday, Saturday, and Sunday? Because totally. yeah, her or Jon Snow have to die. <laughs> I, I mean, there's no way that both of them make it exactly. out. There's no way both of them right. make exactly. it. Exactly. One man standing, yeah. or woman. Yeah, that's that is gonna be a crazy. Yeah, you know. So you know, props to Comic Palooza. This I mean, is they came through, now. dude. I mean, yeah, they have like I guess like you said, that's their trend. Where they're gonna do like week at first, and then yeah. drop a bomb with like right. maybe six weeks to go. Because now two you, years in a row, man, that's okay, pretty big. Yeah, when we were bagging, we were comparing them to the other uh, shows within you know Texas, the the Fan Expo and um, there's the a San Antonio, Antonio one, one, the Alamo one. So is is this better? 
than them. Like I think compare. I think it's better than Expo now because Momoa Dang. dropped out of Expo. <laughs> But, yeah, Dallas. but, but the, the San Antonio one is still pretty good because they got Momoa still. They have Hawkeye. They have Vision. So that's pretty good. Yeah. So, I mean, their lineup is pretty solid. Okay, but, yeah. I mean, the Fan Expo, I think, fell off because okay. they lost Momoa. But All right. So now let's compare the San Antonio to Houston one. Kind of pulls that. If, if, like, you know, traveling wasn't an issue or nothing, just going straight up head to head. Or would you go? I've never been to be San Antonio, better? so I can't really compare. Uh, I say like, San Antonio is still pretty, okay. it's pretty good because like I mean, like I said, wise. they've got Momoa, they have Amber Heard, who plays Mira, yeah, they Mira, have Mira. Hawkeye, they have Vision, they have a couple other wrestlers who are like pretty popular. So their lineup is pretty solid. Okay, yeah, it's more, it's more diverse and has yeah, more people right. to it. Where otherwise, Palooza is just that one punch, Mother man. of Dragons, <laughs> and and Flash. I mean, that's that's Saiyan, big. That Saiyan. is huge, but I mean, it's not. Yeah. It's not multiple people you right know it's just like one strong or you know and then you got one on the side but, flash. Not but then yet, everybody bro. else the bench is weak it's just like you got lebron james <laughs> yeah the, 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 the lakers you know what i'm saying i yeah, mean they have, they have lebron and nobody else but mm-hmm. God, I, I think they're not done yet so, so i'm pretty sure they'll probably add at least one more that'd be so dope yeah yeah because like, right now the, they have like, uh, is, is their houston rockets like their bench and and front court and all that Man, <laughs> is that a safe or something? What if they add, what if they add Robert that Downey, <laughs> bro? <laughs> that'd be Golden State level. Right? <laughs> that'd be what would that be on the on the Dragon Ball Z though? Right yeah. there? <laughs> I mean, that's Ultra Instinct right yeah, there, man, dude. Hands down, man. The two top like shows of the year. Oh my god, that'd be crazy. Yeah, Game of Thrones and Endgame, like yeah. like the top. Two and they had them there. going. I mean, because it'd be like. During the hype of both. Oh my If they added an Avenger, bro, I mean, that'd be crazy. Yeah. Don Cheadle. <laughs> <laughs> they had Falcon that one year, which is, you know, I mean, he's, he's all right. But Papa it's Doc. I always, <laughs> I always think of him as Papa Doc. <laughs> <laughs> he got murked. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so they always come through in the clutch, man. So yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to hate on them anymore. After this, can't do it. I mean, they'll be weak at first next year, I'm sure, but right. they'll come yeah. with somebody good. So yeah. So that's, you, you got to have faith, I guess. <laughs> I mean, after two years in a row, you have to have faith now that right. they'll come through. What is that? Um, the other one that's in October. Um, pandemic. Pandemic. Yeah. The, the lineup is, it's okay. I mean, it's, it's, it's more like. Like they have some Game of Thrones. Uh, they have Walking Dead walking people. Dead char- so. Characters, yeah. But yeah. I don't, I it's know. all right, but it's, it's okay. not it's not like this. I mean, right. Amelia Clark is such a big get for anybody, let yeah. alone Comic Palooza. I mean, that's yeah. such a huge get, so. You can't and, overstate and, that. I mean, it's, right. her, it's her first in the, non-San Diego yeah. con. I mean, that's huge. Yeah, it's super huge. In the middle of the season, too. Yeah. So yeah, during the height of the of the hype. I mean, that's that's crazy. <laughs> this is never done. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of people gonna, that are going to fly out. You know, I'm sure. I'm fall. sure of it. People come dude. from other cities. Yeah, that's, that's for sure. That's mind-blowing. Yeah. I'm sure of it. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. And I'm glad, like, the um, George R. Brown, they, they fixed that whole area up. It looks yeah, like, that's super right. nice now, super bro. Sick. Yeah. yeah, that whole, like, front is area. It? Yeah, George yeah. R. Brown is, like, super nice now. Like, the front, right, right before the Super oh, Bowl. Oh, yeah, like, that street. Yeah. It's not really the whole, street like, now. Yeah, the whole it's... front of it is, like, really, like, laid out nicely. Like, they have restaurants there. Right. Really, like, like, a little park or whatever. It's right. pretty dope. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was there for Kendrick Lamar's performance, like, during the NCAA tournament. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that place is super nice. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I can't think, like, you know, maybe there's I don't think there's a lot of c- city that has that type of layout. Mm-hmm. You know, we can just go in the middle and... Remember that scene in, like, Robocop again? <laughs> remember that I gotta s- watch it. Did you watch it this week? Or? Like, no, no, just <laughs> But remember that big uh, mech warrior yeah. looking robot? Right. That scene where he's fighting that, that mech warrior thing was at the George R. Brown. It was. It was yeah. in their, their main room. Yeah. The main room. Where like, they have all like their main <laughs> guests, like yeah. the hall A or whatever. That's that's where they had like, he was okay. fighting Ed 209. Yeah. Dude, someone needs to bring like a replica of a, <laughs> of that mech Ed, what is thing the, what in the there. Ed 209. Ed 209. Ed 209. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that movie was dope when it first came out. Yeah. For, when I was a kid. Man. That's RoboCop 2. Filmed in Houston. Yeah. Crazy. I did not they know fought that. In, They okay. fought in George R. Brown. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That's tight, man. So I'm glad they, you know, fixed that little area up. Yeah. Man, so you guys got any plans for this week or weekend? WrestleMania is tomorrow. Oh, Excited okay. for that. What about uh, Trish Stratus uh, coming to Comic Palooza? She'll be at Comic Palooza, yeah. so that, that's big, too. Yeah. She's, I mean, she's she's retired now, yeah, but yeah. that's still kind of a big thing. I big mean, name, right? Like, older fans, that's, mm-hmm. that's a big thing. So Yeah. WrestleMania, you said? <laughs> WrestleMania. Where's tomorrow? it at? It's in New York. I mean, that's Madison, big. Madison Square. Wow. That's, that's, that would be cool They're a football to. stadium. Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, yeah, at this point, WrestleMania is all football stadiums. So. Yeah. Because it's such a big football show. Football stadium status. Yeah. Like, last year, it was at uh, 
Mercedes Benz Superdome. Right, yeah, it's a big deal. What was the um? What is going to be the main event? Becky Lynch versus Charlotte versus Ronda Rousey. That wh- that's man, the, main the event. women, wow. the women are leading dude, it off, dude. That's yeah. that's a big deal. So because the Ronda Rousey uh, last year in the that was probably was the like, best match last year. Yeah, you know, so, I'm glad I got to see that. I didn't get to see that one. Yeah, streamed it, and then everything else went out. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Like I couldn't watch the rest of the Your stream show. cut out. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's like oh, yeah, found one. <laughs> Pull the plug on you. <laughs> that's dope, man. That that that's smart. McMahon is like super smart. Yeah, dude. I mean, you know? he, like you're getting, he's, like, he's worth a billion audio. dollars. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He he knows what he's doing. Yeah. Back back to like Disney. You know, I'm not trying to sound whatever, but like Disney knows how to make money. And if you can yeah. get the female audience to come in, because you already got the male audience, but if you get like and getting new fans, because you know the ratio of females, there's way more females out there. And I think that's why, like Disney is, you know, catering to a lot of um, are there's female. A, are there's a Ray, centric. yeah, not a J, yeah. <laughs> 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 right? So, what do you what do you guys think? Am, am I? I, I mean, am I'm I cool with it. You know? or, I don't mind it. I mean, people Inclusion. don't like it, but I I don't mind it as much at all. I mean, they think Ray's the new Disney princess or whatever. I don't I don't care. Right. I don't care. I mean, it's cool. You know, yeah. make a good movie. That's, yeah, that's, that's all I want, want the movie to be good. Yeah, I don't care if the character is a male or female. I mean, if right. it's a good movie, it's a good movie. But for sure, are you guys gonna watch uh, Dumbo? No, <laughs> <laughs> heard it was bad. I, yeah, I think heard it was really awful. Skimp that one. It came out already. Came out last weekend. Okay, oh, I heard, heard really? it was trash. Tra- like creepy, or like I heard it was creepy. Was well, because Tim Burton, you know, he he kind of makes those kind of oh, creepy yeah, vibe movies. Oh, Tim Burton made it. Yeah, he oh, made it. So okay. dang, I'm, right. I'm not gonna go see it. They haven't been really successful with the. I don't know what the Beauty and the Beast did really well. Oh, did it? Okay. Um, they had Mary Poppins too. Does that Mary Disney Poppins? Or no? did all right. Yeah. I hope Lion King is good. Lion King looks like the their heavy hitter. Yeah, the live action Lion King that looks pretty yeah. dope. At least the little bit that we've seen. Right. Aladdin. I don't know about that, dude. <laughs> <I said luck. laughs> I don't know about that one, man. You yeah. just see Will, Will Smith. I, I think he like, looks terrible, but it looks like you know. Fresh I don't think he's gonna be blue Smith. the whole movie, right? He might just. Nah, he has like a human form where he, it looks like Will Smith. So, <laughs> oh dang. Yeah, I think they knew it was cheesy. Like we can't make him look like this the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I don't know. We'll see. That's crazy, man. Is your brother playing uh, Division? He actually bought it and okay, brought it nice. to the house. But cool. then Noah got in trouble <laughs> this weekend. Yeah, at, at school he got two notes at school, but yeah. then he also got straight A's. So I guess it balances out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's smart, man. but he boy I'd be acting up <laughs> class, man. Man, that's cool. That's you know natural. So he'll probably have to wait a couple of weeks before he can play. Yeah. Okay. But my brother, but they curse in Division, right? Yeah, they do, right? Yeah, the, the um, yeah. Yeah, in okay. the game. Okay, but y'all my see that got it. Uh, a Joker trailer? Y'all see that? <gasps> oh, no. bro, yeah, we that was that. that was crazy. Was that on our uh, show notes? It was on the notes. Yeah, but, I'm uh, sorry. What Gray Miles. Oh, oh no, the Gray Miles. Bronze. <laughs> you're you're, you're our uh, you you're a moderator, man. Yeah, Come I'm on, sorry. man. Yeah, I was looking and yeah, it threw me off because I kept on moving around. <laughs> uh, but sure, yeah, let, let's check this out. Hella creepy. Did you did you watch it? Yeah, I saw. Yeah, I did. Okay, hella creepy. Is this it right here? No, no, that's not it. Oh, that's not it, bro. That, that's, okay. that's the old Jokers. That's oh man. That's the. Uh, I hope this is my it. little montage. I think I don't like these. Um, there you go. Reaction. Here we go. Reaction video podcast. <laughs> yes, this is it. This Joaquin my mother, Phoenix. Is, yes. Look, always man. Tells me to smile and put on a happy face. She told me I had a purpose to bring laughter and joy to the world. Oh. Is it just me? Or is it getting crazier out there? Smile. Though your heart is aching, smile. Who's the director? Uh, I don't know. When there are okay, in the sky, you'll get paper boy. Paper boy. <laughs> paper boy. Paper boy? <laughs> yeah, from Atlanta. Atlanta. You don't watch it. And maybe tomorrow. Wow. What's so funny? 
Oh shoot. DC. Gotham has lost its way. What kind of coward oh, would do something that cold blooded? Someone who hides behind a mask. I used to think that my life was a tragedy. Dude, you think it's some Oscar performance right here? But now I realize. Mm -hmm. It's a comedy. It, you just man, it was cool right there. Hella October, creepy, bro. Yeah. Man, hella creepy. <laughs> yeah, looks good. I it's mean, just from good. the trailer, right? Looks good. You know, and I hope people, and I guess some people will, they're, they're going to try to compare. Of course. They already are. They already are right. comparing <laughs> Keith Ledger, right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, that's they just need to. Automatic, you know? You just take that out of their brains. and But it, and, you can't do it, because it's, yeah. it's such a synonymous performance, you know what right. I'm saying? Like, you think Joker now, you think Heath Ledger, right. I mean, it's only natural, if especially in yeah, the movies. I guess I mean. so. But if that's the case, dude. He could be a close his number rendition, two. <laughs> I mean, he's going to he, do his he, best, you know? It looks it looks pretty good. man. From so far, the trailer looks like it's heading to that Oscar performance level. Yeah, yeah, it does look like you know that level. Dude, does it, how did Heath Ledger die again? Suicide. Suicide. Drugs overdose. I think. Oh yeah, I think it was drug overdose. Right. DC might you know might make make it around, making a comeback. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we we can't talk number wise, you know, dollar wise, not right now. But uh, dude, Joker's such a popular character too. Right. You know, like. So many Joker fans out there, man. Yeah, to me, I mean, he might kill it. I think he might surpass that Heath Ledger level. Yeah, do you well, think that's a bold Ledger? statement. Yeah. yeah, calling it right now. It's like guys. your bold statement about Star Wars, right? Yeah, <laughs> that you put on the Facebook <laughs> and, and Instagram, by the way. Yes. Well, what did you say again? That was a oh. fan made poster, by the way. It was. <laughs> oh, man, dang. Okay, I posted this um, episode nine fan made poster. Yeah, it looks so real. But, but yeah. what was your caption? If if you know, if you're not, if this doesn't get you hype, you're not a real fan. Yeah. And people yeah. got triggered, yeah. <laughs> especially on Instagram. They yeah. got triggered. Really? Yeah, so we easily get, get triggered. In, yeah. We get good engagement on Instagram and yeah, it's, some people are, yeah. <laughs> like, like this is they're, they're still, not, they're still mad like, about episode eight, but it's like, might as well let it go at this yeah. point, man. Yeah. Cause yeah. I mean, come on, man. Wipe, 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 but wipe episode eight from your, from yeah. the slate of your brain. Yeah. In the poster, <laughs> it looked, um, C-3PO is holding a Chewbacca. A bowcaster, which is kind of <laughs> dumb. Like, really, bro? But that's what people was thinking. Like, okay, this has to be fake. Like, yeah. this is not official. <laughs> Knock him over. It's like, what are you doing with that, boy? Yeah. <laughs> really, like, yeah. DPO in a bowcaster? What the hell? Yeah. I'm not going to be scared. <laughs> All right, so, like, speaking of DC, I heard Shazam is good. Is yeah, actually, I heard, that, heard, heard nothing but good things. Yeah, I heard, I heard my brother saw it and so said it was good. <laughs> yeah. It's but like, I'm not interested, so... <laughs> <laughs> Are you, are you gonna watch it though? No, maybe Man. maybe on Blu-ray okay. eventually, but I really have no desire to see it. Even though like you're hearing good reviews, because no, I'm, I'm, I'm not swayed by that. I mean, yeah, see, because I was I'm like when that. I when I, I like that when I decide to see a movie, I go see it pretty much no matter what. Yeah, okay. when I decide against it, I, I don't go no matter what. So yeah. I pretty much decided not to see it until like Blu-ray or cable yeah. or whatever, which yeah will be in a couple months anyway at this rate. So I was like, nah, it's true it was because. I'm like, okay, it makes me want to know why it... What, it looks, what, the trailers what, just look fun. It just looks like a fun movie. Like, yeah, he's actually the, a kid, yeah. and then he gets stuck in a, you know, a superhero's right. body, like, in the yeah. kind of, like, society-type, you know, change, right. you know, so... Yeah, it makes me wonder, man, for reals. Because, like, the when I first saw the trailer a couple of years ago, it looked like a WB, CW, like, TV movie. Yeah, movie. yeah, yeah. Remember, I, I said that before on the show, and I still say it. Because so, the suit looked really bad, I thought. Right. It, and that, that's been cheesy. my first image in my head this entire time. Like the suit looks bad. So even though it, right. it, it's a good movie, I can't get out of my head that first image of the suits. Yeah. yeah. I mean, looking at cinematography, I mean, you know, I'm not like all that eye technical stuff, but looking at Joker, man, that looks really cinematic. You know, yeah. cinematic. Yeah. Dramatic. Right? Yeah. And then when I look at 
Shazam. Okay, but like it must be like a feel good movie. I mean, with the you know how they they did the visual as far as like what the suit looks like. It looks like a straight up comic book, like comic book in the eighties. <laughs> you yeah. know, kind of like suit. You know, they had to make it funny. You know what I mean? Like, and I think right. going that route is probably why they you know right. You know, it's doing so well. Are you, you going to go watch it? Yeah, I think okay. so. I think it would be a good know. movie to watch. Take Noah. Yeah. You know, my brother said it was good. So man, okay, we'll see. So yeah, at this point, I'm all about end game. So <laughs> it's all that really matters. All that matters. End game or no game? I mean, next GLT week, next week is, is Thrones. So next week already, dude. Damn, why? You, it sounds so like <laughs> so sudden, dude. <laughs> I know. It's crazy. It's our first day. <laughs> Chill. <No. laughs> yeah, that's crazy, man. So what? What are your plans? Are you guys gonna? I don't know. Do I mean, that, that is that is the one show I watch as it happens. So I'm, I'll, I'll be right? in front of a TV at every eight o'clock yeah. so man i don't we don't have hbo anymore so it sucks. it's sucks time to get it man. are you serious yeah I was, Bro, I was gonna do it i was gonna get it on the app and catch it at like 12 yeah or you can stream it yeah or um, stream it from oh you can yeah, stream it as from, live uh, i'm sure yeah, i'm pretty sure you can find someone who's gonna have it streaming yeah, reddit you go to reddit yeah i mean okay that's true they, that's they stream literally the everything they stream it so you could probably find it i mean well, i watch live games on reddit no i do I, yeah I, I just type in nba stream reddit there you go bam got so, is that what what it is i'm pretty i'm sure. pretty sure they have something okay. yeah okay i need to find out before oh, yeah <laughs> just no, so there. i know like the game so, said they're streaming everything on there. i mean reddit is like you know the the subreddit for streaming is pretty on point you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, no for right. real like as far How as the they games, don't shut that down I, I have no idea but it's still there yeah, it and works. i'm happy for it you know i'm glad yeah not gonna wood because it's like, save a lot of pay-per-view money you know what yeah, I'm saying? yeah. <laughs> probably because it's a new site every time it's a new url it's, an, it's a new link okay. so yeah, yeah that's probably so what it like is the, that's what it is i'll have it up for one and then like oh just flip it and go to another. yeah that's true yeah all well, right bless you reddit yeah <laughs> hey one more thing about like uh the joker do you think heath ledger would have been the Joker if he didn't die. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that yeah. was a good performance, regardless. I think the yeah. fact that he did die it got added. heightened it more. Exactly. But I mean, the performance was still good all by the itself. Joker. Okay. But. Well, I, what him and um, Nicholson, mm-hmm. Jack. That was Nicholson. pretty good as Nicholson well. Was but good too. that was yeah. good as well. Yeah. So I mean, for a long time, he was that was the, the Joker. Joker right? you know what I'm saying, but yeah, till Heath came. Yeah, but his his death definitely heightened. The, like right, like yeah. Tupac, man. Like you know, Tupac is and yeah. Biggie are always on that level because they like, died, yeah, because right. they died at their peak. You know man. what I mean? So. I'm, I'm rooting for Joaquin to pull it off. You know, because with with what's his name, the other Joker, Jared Leto, like Jared, didn't really work out. Yeah, I mean, it, I don't think it wasn't really his fault, but you know, because you know, he, basically Joker was a cameo appearance. Yeah, right, right. right. It wasn't really like a full you know, on. Yeah, I didn't really get a chance to really do a whole shine, lot. Yeah, so. yeah. It was just the backup. Bench writer, yeah. but I mean, Joaquin, just the, his dude, he looked like yeah. you could see him like depressed, and yeah. you know, he's trying to be happy, yeah, but he's like you, you, sad, you, you and do, depressed. He, he has like the, the look down, and it's like, yeah, it, it's kind of like the Heath Ledger, but like you know, his own take, man. October, man, I'm, I can't wait, I'm, I'm excited to watch it. I'm, I'm scared, scared, <laughs> it, looks, it looks so gloomy and dark. Have y'all seen us? I have no. not seen it. I heard that was really good. I heard it was good. Yeah. I heard it was not good. You heard it was not really? good. Really? Ron, Ron, Ron said it was not good. Oh, wow, really? Team. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know. We'll see. It was Ron. No. Just kidding. Ron. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Ron. <laughs> man. Ron he shit, listens, man. Man. <laughs> man. Man. But I think that's about it, guys. Anything else? No, I said, man. That's about it, man. All right, man. Thanks for listening. Check us out at toythugshow.com. We out. Peace. Yeah.